Hi, I'm Betty McNitt and I'm working on the six day kid blanket. We are on row four of the blanket. And row four says to start with a chain one. And then we're going to single crochet right into that first hole. And then you skip this one and you start here with eight single crochets So at the end of eight single crochets, you should find yourself at the chain three space at the top of the mountain. And you put three single crochets into that space. And next, you keep going um, down into the valley putting one single crochet into each of the double crochets in the row below 14 times. And if you don't feel like counting, you can just tell yourself that you're going to put one single crochet in each, the top of each double crochet in the row below until you get to the chain three space at the top of the next mountain. So that way, you can watch your show <laughs> while you're doing it <laughs> and you don't have to sit there and count. We're just going across until we get to the next chain three space. We put three single crochets in there. And then we're going to go down the valley again, eight stitches, two, I don't know if you guys can hear Mochi snoring. Okay, and we're going to skip this last double crochet here and we're going to work the last one into this turning chain. Now why, you might be thinking, are we working into the chain when on the last row we worked into the space? And my, I'm not going to finish that because we're going to change colors. My opinion on that is because in row three, we worked into the spaces in between the stitches. So it makes sense to make this stitch consistent with the rest of the row that it would be worked into the space. But up here, we didn't work in any spaces. We, well, except for here. We worked into the tops of the stitches. So for that reason, I think it gives the, the work a more consistent line to work into that chain at the end of the row rather than working into the space. I left this single crochet unfinished at the end because we are going to change colors on row five and we need to do that at the end of this um, at the end of this stitch. So I'm going to leave that undone and I'll show you how to change colors at the beginning of row five in the next video.
Thank you.